Hi, and welcome back. So the YouTube video that's titled, This Exercise Protocol Reduces the Age of Your Heart by 20 Years, that was produced by the YouTube channel Found My Fitness Clips, is 14 minutes and 39 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember, now that I've semi-retired, I get to watch between 20 and 30 longevity type videos most days, as well as reading articles, scientific studies, and listening to podcasts when I exercise, and I only review videos like this one that I think are gonna give real longevity value. So although it's a critique of the original content, it's most certainly not a negative criticism. In the video, Dr. Benjamin Levine explains to Dr. Rhonda Patrick that the heart begins to shrink and stiffen in late middle age, and he says that's between 50 and 65. Studies have shown that while training for a year did not alter heart structure in seniors age 70, an intense and prolonged exercise regimen reversed sedentary aging effects in late middle-aged individuals. This regimen involved training four to five days a week for two years in total. The study highlighted the possibility of reversing some aspects of heart aging with the right exercise protocol. He then moves on to advanced glycation end products, and these are known as ages. Here, Dr. Levine discusses how advanced glycation end products contribute to tissue stiffening and are measured in diabetics as HbA1c. A drug that breaks down advanced glycation end products combined with exercise showed significant vascular age reduction, equivalent to 15 years, and this was in 70-year-olds. However, in the video, he does not specify the name of this drug. He notes that the drug is no longer available, and he also mentions that he has the last of it in his laboratory. The drug worked well in animal studies, but it showed significant results in humans, but only when combined with exercise. However, the drug did not yield the same results, indicating the importance of exercise. The combination of advanced glycation end products inhibitors and physical activity demonstrates a promising approach to mitigating age-related vascular issues. They then move on to the subject of exercise in seniors, saying that starting an exercise regimen in 170s, although not fully reversing aging, improves endothelial function and the autonomic control of circulation. Saying that exercise at any age enhances blood vessel relaxation and autonomic nervous system regulation. Dr. Levine emphasizes that even at the age of 70, exercise can increase our fitness levels and then go on to improve our cardiovascular health. This highlights the ongoing benefits of physical activity, irrespective of the age that we actually start. He states that regular exercise enhances cardiovascular health, it improves endothelial function and regulates the autonomic nervous system, reducing the risk of sudden cardiac events. Exercise also preserves aerobic power, that's VO2 max, which is crucial for maintaining daily functional capacity and delaying disability. It also boosts overall fitness, which as we know naturally declines with age. Maintaining both endurance and strength training is essential for prolonged functional independence. Dr. Levine then recommends a structured exercise program of four to five days a week, including vigorous intensity sessions, and this is for seniors. Combining endurance and strength training is crucial to maintaining both cardiovascular and muscular strength. Starting early provides more significant benefits, but improvements are possible, he says, at any age. Consistent and intense exercise regimens can help seniors maintain their health and prolong their independence. So at present, I perform strength training three days a week, and these are 40 to 50 minute sessions in the gym, and cardiovascular exercises twice a week. One 40 to 50 minute ruck run, and one one hour 10 minute bike ride. For both cardiovascular exercises, so that's the ruck run, and also the bike ride, I carry a rucksack that weighs somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds. Let me know in the comments below, do you achieve the four to five sessions per week that Dr. Levine actually recommends? 